Hey guys, welcome to Group Playbook. Today we're going to take a look at getting started as a team admin. So first off, you just want to sign in to your team admin account. Once you're signed in here, we're going to take a look at the top and there's that settings tab. So let's click on that. That'll take us to the settings. So you have two color options, a darker and a lighter color option. So you can set that with your hexadecimal or your RGB values. As you can see here, um, there's a little preview on the right side so you kind of get a feel if those colors are going to look good or not. So that looks good. Let's save that so there we can see it. Next thing you want to do is look at the banner at the top. So right now we just have text. Put that as just an image banner. We already have one uploaded here that we could use. Um, but if you do not have one uploaded, which you shouldn't at the start, uh, just click on this box here and it'll give you a file uploader. So you can upload from your hard drive. So you selected your image and let's just use this one here. Now just refresh the page and that will show up. There we go, we got our image banner. So that's everything for the settings page here. We got our basic style set up. So let's go take a look at the team about. It's just a rich text editor. You can add headers and whatever in here. There's also an HTML option in the bottom there. So if you do have someone that knows how to use HTML, you can have them set up more advanced styling on this page here, more advanced layout. That's pretty much it for that page. Uh, same thing with the contact. It's just a rich text editor again and you just want to add your team's contact information here. So let's just show you what happens when you do change something. So, okay, that looks okay. So let's just save that. There we go. So that's been changed. So the last thing you need to do as a team admin is you need to invite your first team rep or you need to invite all your team reps, but let's invite one for now. So let's go here and let's say uh, new team rep and let's give him an address and then let's fire off an email. This field doesn't have to be the exact name. If he, you know, if he put his last name, he doesn't want to use his last name on the product, he can change that later on. So just get the basic information in there and fire that off. So now that's been sent and that's pretty much everything you need to do for team admin to get started out. Thanks for watching.